Okay, it's too windy today, but I'm shooting the 490 grain possible turkey arrow and gonna chronograph it. Wind's gusting 30, 40 miles an hour, so here we go. So, 18 inch arrow, 200 grains up front, light a knock in the back and feathers. 490 grain total weight, and uh, probably shoot one of the, either the Simmons or the, the Espo Twinkie with a 75 grain insert to make it 200 grains. There you go. Okay, 490 grains. I'm gonna shoot right over top of the camera for arrow flight. It's really windy today, so who knows what it's gonna do. Heavier arrows do fare better in the wind with high up on sea, so you'll probably see some weekly tail bends. Here we go. Okay, 490 grains again. But the last one was at 1080, 120 frames. This is 1080, 240 frames, slow motion. 219 feet per second. Okay, I'm on top of the camera here. Try not to hit it. Okay, this is a 19 inch, uh, 2219. It's uh, 570 grains. It's got a 145 grain point up front. It's plastic fletching that is angled. It's got a lighted knock. See how it flies, 240 frames per second. I'm not gonna get hit where I was hanging. All right, we'll take a look at that. There you go. Well, I had my suspicions why that flew so well. With just 145 grains up front, it's because it had a 50 grain uh, weighted insert. I put uh, weight behind it, so uh, it's 200 grains. And 200 grains flies, flies great out of the front of a 2219. And I could lighten it up some if I put uh, fletching uh, feathers on it instead of the plastic fletching. So, uh, but 550 is a 550 to 570 is a really good penetration weight. So there you go, just a screw with some ground off uh, nuts on it, and it uh, adds 50 grains to the front of the arrow. That works. Looks like the flight was good. We'll review the footage and see what it looks like.